Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and what you see behind me is the ever overflowing pin of Squicken. I have no idea why they clone themselves, but I have long since stopped questioning this. It's kind of interesting that my uh, beautiful giraffes have not cloned themselves though. Wouldn't mind if that happened, but actually, you guys, next week is Giraffe Week or Giraffe World Day, I should say. And so I definitely want to celebrate by being back at work in the zoo part of Zoodesia next week to get our giraffe house built so that they can have their beautiful barn and hopefully have some adorable giraffe babies. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. And yeah, that's going to be happening next week. But for today, today, my friends, I have something amazing to show you. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Dun, 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 dun. And there it is, the garden hedgehog. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. So, and it just gave us some gold lupine flowers. Oh my gosh, down they go. Just like that. So this is the little garden hedgehog and it is going to be an item giver. So this little one just gave us some flowers already. I am so excited. We made a hedgehog nest last night and we built a, a little, you know, little thing full of leaves and we put down uh, a couple twigs, some more dried leaves on the ground and apparently our little garden hedgehog really loves it. So I looked it up because hedgehogs do not live in North America. That's going to be something for you guys over in the UK to really enjoy. But uh, yeah, hi little guy. Hi. And actually they're through a lot of Europe and apparently they're an invasive species in New Zealand. So hey New Zealanders, you Kiwis might have some hedgehogs in your backyards too. But that's not a good thing in your case. But yeah, so these little guys are really, really adorable and cute and they love to eat insects. So they're considered to be a very beneficial official part of a backyard garden because they will eat a whole bunch of insects and occasionally nibble on some of your foods like some of the little, little berries that you might have growing in your yard. A couple of you guys said that you have hedgehogs and they really love cat food uh, which makes sense because they are kind of omnivorous but they really love to eat bugs most of all. And one of you said that your hedgehog really loves to eat radishes. And I thought that was the cutest thing ever. So I want to set it up so eventually we can work with this hedgehog and maybe give it radishes in exchange for the awesome flowers that it will provide to us to put into our beautiful garden. But and Agent Noodles, you cannot eat the hedgehog, okay? Thankfully, the hedgehog is protected by uh, these little spiky quills. And when I was learning about the hedgehog today, you guys, I found out these spiky quills are actually made out of keratin. And do you guys know what keratin is? It's the same stuff that your hair and your nails are na made out of. So that's pretty cool. So little hedgehogs, uh, like little quills, are not quite as pokey as like a porcupine quills. And they're made out of keratin, which is the same stuff as your hair. So they're just kind of like really hardened hair follicles in, the, in a way. But yes, so this little one will be giving us seeds that it has just collected while it wanders around eating the bugs out of our garden. And every time it gives us one of the plants, then we'll come over and immediately like plant it down. So as you guys saw, this is the first thing, the first thing, the golden lupine, which is really beautiful. And that's because one of you really went into quite this lovely speech about how much you love lupines and how beautiful they are to you and how they're all over the place in the summer where you live. And I just really love that. So the lupines are one of the flowers and we'll have to see what other sneaky, beautiful, hey, where'd you go? Where'd you go, little guy? Oh, he's talking with a little baby quill. <gasps> That's so cute. They're having a little conversation. They're having a little conversation. Oh, that's the most adorable thing ever. Okay. But yes, so you will have to see what other amazing plants, what other uh, summer garden flowers the little hedgehog will give us. So I'm super excited, you guys. And what we might do is we might find ways to expand the hedgehog family in the future. So we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for that, too. All right. So for now, what I want to do, though, is start cleaning up our yard a little bit more. And I also need to take all of these animals and transport them downstairs to uh, Assistant Freezer Bunny and Professor Cow Plant. And last I checked, if I remember, like last we checked, if I remember correctly, Professor Cowplant actually has a clone now. So I need to go see that. Um, all right, we can stop this. <gasps> my boots, I'm not wearing my boots. What, that has to be fixed. All right, and let's go ahead and take my steel leaf armor out. Ah, isn't it just nice to have things like repaired and tidy? Let's go check and see how our armor or our weapons, not our armor, is doing in the dishwasher. Aha, I don't think I started it. <laughs> Well, I feel a little silly now. Um, do I have a hoe that can go in there right now, too? No, I don't. I do have a creeper head. We should take that downstairs, shouldn't we? Because that sounds like something that should actually go. Oh, my diamond efficiency shovel. I should have put that one in instead. Actually, do I have a shovel in there already? 
All right, let's let's check cuz that really I need to okay We're gonna stop. Ah, oh, okay. I think that's all the soap right there Really what I need to repair is my efficiency shovel and then we'll put this in there. There we go There we go like this uh, random iron shovel is fine, but my efficiency shovel we've had since the old world So it's special all right, Captain Kaz, how are you doing? And the Chocobo Babies. We will need to name the Chocobo Babies pretty soon, too. Hello, happy birthday. Oh, there's three of them now. <laughs> there's three bloodthirsty penguins out for, for vengeance. And I hope that they're not giving pigmen fur a taste for blood. I don't need that. I always wonder about nether pigs and their diets anyway. But oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Ben's going to be tickled. To know that um, the happy birthday vicious penguins have cloned themselves. I, I have no idea. I have no idea why that happens. And it kind of is hilarious. I think it has something to do with name tags. But it's just happened in our world since the very beginning. So we just roll with it. All right, let's pick these. Because I never, never really get a chance to pick these. Actually, how am I going to pick these when my pockets are full of animals? So, so let's go ahead. C Professor Calpant the Third, how are you doing? Assistant Freezer Bunny, how are you doing? Professor Calpant the Third's clone, how are you doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you know what? That's probably a good thing that we have more researchers here because we have more animals here. All right, let's get these goats and these wild horses out of the way. All right, and oh man, I can't wait to get the farming side series going. I know I say that every time, but I'm really excited about that. All right, and these are Arctic foxes. So we'll have to do something cool with the Arctic foxes as well. We do have an Arctic zone that we're working on, so that should go over pretty well. All right, now this does have some zombie heads. We should probably work on cleaning up this. It's kind of like you shove all your like dark magic occult stuff just in a corner. And I'm pretty sure you should take better care of the things that have spooky, spooky like zombie heads and summon all sorts of dark abilities. All right, I see... Three experiment 626s. So there you go. If I add you guys all together, does that just make like a super experiment? Like, oh, I can't even do the math that quick. Like experiment, oh, over 1,800 something. Who knows? Who knows? You guys let me know and then we'll we'll think about combining their powers. Maybe they'll, they'll upgrade themselves that way. That'd be kind of hilarious. All right. But yes, so that's my big goal is to try to just clean up the yard today because there's so much to do in the zoo as always. And it actually feels super amazing and comforting to have just said that because it means that we're back. And I really, really like that. All right. Hello, tiny chips. I can't wait to start playing Chocolatier Tycoon because that's going to make me actually get around to setting up your little chocolate shop. All right, there's our lavender. Maybe we should freshen up. Maybe we should freshen up the uh, foliage inside of the house. Do you guys think that would be a good idea? Because, let's see, and presser, take the soy milk. Okay, maybe press the olive. Need to press olive, make some. Ooh, wow, is it gonna press that quickly? Because I'll make some cooking oil as we run through. And then we'll toss the soy milk back in to make tofu, because I need some firm tofu. And then, there we go. Yay, because cooking oil is hard to get our hands on. Phew. All right, we'll pop back out here and pick some berries really quickly because why not? And then we'll go see our hedgehog in a minute and see if it has any more presents for us. All right, lots of berries. Maybe we should do like a berry picking day with our friends soon. That would be really cool. All right, let me go ahead and pick this. There we go. And all of the food items can go straight in there and we'll take care of them later. There. Phew. All right, good. And let's see what else we can clean up out of the yard. Hello, little hedgehog. <gasps> Yay! Okay! Marigolds! It just gave me some marigolds! Oh, I love this! I love this idea because it'll just be so fun. Whenever it gives us an item, we'll just turn in like the nearest empty spot. We'll just naturally watch the garden grow kind of organically that way. You guys know what a sucker I am for that kind of stuff. All right, and then we need to clean this out. This uh, actually looks like it's mostly been filled by the Akis. And apparently hedgehogs like mushrooms too. I learned that as well. Golden apples. Oh, we're going to need those golden apples because we need to go and heal our villagers pretty soon too. Because our poor villagers over in Zomberry Village, um, there's quite a few that we need to heal. So that might be a special that we'll do sometime in the future. All right. I really like to visit the village on the weekends. No, I don't need the death cap. Get out of there, death cap. <laughs> The death cap is not part of dinner. It doesn't get to just get mixed in with everything else. That would be so dangerous. Oh, that was cool. Aki like stalked it while we were standing here looking at it. Uh, all right, yeah. No death cap mushrooms inside of my <laughs> inside of my food chest, please. That's not the way we do things. All right, I'm actually these all are meant for the um, safari zone, 
And then book and quill. Is this empty? Okay, I can put that somewhere else. So we might just take these all to the safari zone. And then this chest should be empty now. All right, pardon me, darling. I need to clean this chest up out of the yard, please. And there we go. And got that. All right, why don't we pick some grapes while we're over here. I do want to take down this pistachio tree and possibly put like a big oak tree right here. We're going to have to manually remove the pistachio tree because if I use the tree capitator, it's just going to take everything off and we don't want that. Let's see. And what can I do with the pistachios? Can I make um, ooh, pistachio baked salmon, date nut bread? Um, I really want to make like more cooking oil because cooking oil is needed to make these delicious donuts. And these are the donuts that go with the Safari Bites donut shop that we are gonna have over in the Safari Zone. And they include the Hyper Hyena Sprinkle Donut, the Elephant, which is a gigantic donut the size of a dinner plate. The Taste of Africa Mystery Filling, which has different kinds of fillings every day, so you never know what you're gonna get. The Cinnamon and Coyote Donut, which is named basically like a cinnamon moth donut. So that would be kind of cool. All right, and lots and lots of food in the yard. Phew, but yeah, still just kind of settling in and cleaning up our yard and getting everything organized, but I feel so good about it. <laughs> I really do. I feel so good and happy about it. All right, we'll move all of these things out of here. <gasps> and we did it. We did it. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm gonna, all right, okay, I don't want to use up my shears doing that. And there, now we'll be able to, very carefully, we have cleaned the hedgehog's territory, and that makes me really happy, actually. Oh, look at him. He's going inside of his little hedgehog house. I love it. I love it so much. A little hedgehog nest. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, and I was thinking that pretty soon we may need to start redoing what's in the garden, too, because the garden is set up for the spring crops, and we really need to work on summer crops, but we really need to work on cooking as well, so we'll get to it. We'll get to it. All right. Maybe we'll even do a cooking side quest today as well. So we'll have to see. I'm going to put these guys away. And then the death cap can go in here. And then we're just going to clean up the random stuff as we go by. Oh, we've got more potatoes. Thank you, Aki. All right, throw potatoes in there. And then actually, can I just use the poo? We'll just uh, poo power, poo fertilize some of those potatoes. And then, oh wow, actually we've got a lot of eggshell. You know what? Why don't I just use this at helping to take care of the garden? I'm sure Aki would appreciate a little bit of help. So we can just come through, use the eggshells like so. In fact, let's go use the eggshells over in my herb garden. You guys, that's perfect. Let's gather up some fresh herbs from my herb garden, which is awesome. All right, so we've got some mint and then let's move the eggshells over here. And then I can replant the mint like so. There we go. And you just kind of have to go down. And then that saffron, which is amazing. And then saffron bulbs. I'm going to run out of room. I need a special herb chest because these are the special herbs that um, Pavo actually made for us as part of the Zoo Crafting Discoveries mod. Uh, which means I really need to work with these. Okay, mint and lemongrass, which is so yummy. Oh my goodness. I love it. All right, we're going to come down. And there's some thyme, and then this is the garlic. I love my little herb garden. All right, oh, and we have sage seeds. What? When did that happen? Okay, and those are all the seeds I got from our uh, our little herbs, so I'll try to spread those a little bit. All right, well, let's go inside, and we'll put away the lemongrass and the whatnots. Um, you know what? I really do kind of want a special little spot for my herb garden. Uh, this is where I've been keeping all the spices. Is there an extra... Let's see. What? <laughs> I have so many Inzuki beans. <laughs> you know what? We're going to clean this out. We're going to clean all of the Inzuki beans out. I guess in the next, like, in one of our future... <laughs> what do we even do with this many Inzuki beans? In one of the future episodes of, like, Zoo Kitchen, uh, we might have to go through and just figure out like how to trade or sell or get rid of those beans and then make lots and lots and lots of bean soup or something like that. Uh, refried beans can actually, we could make refried beans. And then there's chili and baked beans. We might have like a chili cook off. That would be kind of interesting. All right. And then let's just start putting, I think some of my spices actually go over here. So maybe I should just keep them like organized thusly. And then when we need to, when like the spices start getting a little bit uh, overpopulated because we have more of them, 
then we'll move our spices to a different section. But for now, we have the thyme with mint, sage, lemongrass, saffron. Here's a celery. <laughs> celery doesn't really count. I don't know why I have celery. And we'll go and we'll gather up more of the herbs with the rest of our eggshells in just a minute. And I'm going to nibble some cookies because I can. <sighs> so much to do in the zoo, but I'm so happy to be home again. I really, really am. All right. And are you doing good? Okay, you need more soap. So we need to get more soap. Glorious Grafter and this Iron Hoe are totally repaired, which is super awesome. So we'll put those away. Oh, you know what? It's always useful to carry a chest around. The clipboard for the Eureka moments. Oh, didn't I come up with an idea earlier? Oh, yeah. So I was actually playing Star Stable earlier, and it occurred to me, you guys, we should have the um, the bird, the perfect bird or like bird society. And that would be a bird club among like on like in in uh zudesia zudesia but like zudesia the, the server versus zudesia like the zoo basically the perfect bird club society in my mind is a bird club like uh we should start doing clubs that can meet regularly with the other zoo crafters and i came up with that idea earlier and i really like it so we'll work on that that, that just <laughs> that would be so fun to come up with club ideas what club would you have if you could have a club hello darling hug hug all right and then let's see i'm gonna go ahead and put that away i've got a couple buckets i've got a bunch of bricks bricks aren't really gonna help me do i have a bunch of uh soap Good, I have tons of soap. So we're gonna go ahead and make some more soapy water. And then I'm going to get that soapy water. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to use that soapy water to repair my armor because my, or not, why do I keep saying my armor? To prepare my tools. Because they have been, there we go. They have been pretty darn beat up. All right, we'll put these two things away over here so that we can just go ahead and use those later. And then bricks and all the other stuff I'm carrying around need to go down here. Ah, <sighs> and we'll get there eventually. Now I'm pretty sure we had to make these bricks for a specific reason. And we were making these bricks, whoops, we were making these bricks because we needed to make some sandy blocks. And those sandy blocks are necessary to building the safari zone. So do I have any sand? Let me check, I think. I think I may be fresh out of sand. Uh, carpenter's tool chest. Hmm, what? I have a bunch of fish there. Okay, that's normal. I'm sure that's normal. All right, yeah, I am actually 100% out of sand. <laughs> I can't believe that! Oh, okay, so we'll have to go collect sand at some point, too. And if I'm going to put away bricks, where would it make sense? Probably in the carpenter's toolbox, maybe, to put bricks, perhaps? That's where we keep glass and things like that. So, where do I keep my clay? I keep my clay with the dyes, I think. So I'm going to keep the bricks over here with the sand and the quicksand. What am I going to do with quicksand? I really, I don't know. Every now and then you kind of look at your pack rat items and you're like, so why am I carrying this? And you're not really sure, but you just kind of roll with it. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Anything else? I could leave some of these ores here, but I think we wanted to use them to decorate. So all of this is basically going over to the safari zone, which we might visit tomorrow and see what we can get. The giraffe length sub sandwiches and see what we can get done over there. This is going to safari zone and the rest of it we can tend to. Okay. All right. We've got this. We've got this, you guys. These are treasures that go upstairs. This goes in the kitchen. This is to feed the dogs. This is my Eureka moments. And we're all lined up. I'll keep my little shears out because you never know when you might need to use them. All right. So I kind of want to finish up just by taking care of the herb garden and seeing if our hedgehog is going to drop any other really cute flowers. Oh, Martha, you've laid an egg. Thank you. And then hopefully, should everything go to plan tomorrow, we might have a special, <laughs> our first special in a very, very long time. I'm a little intimidated by the idea of doing a whole hour of zoo crafting, but the Saturday special is a tradition. You could say it's a family tradition because we've had it for so long. So I'll see how I feel tomorrow. And I kind of feel like going on just a little bit of an adventure. I kind of feel like working on the zoo a teensy bit. So we might go back to the safari zone and see what we can accomplish. Um, we do need to do a lot of tasks, just miscellaneous tasks. Uh, like today, actually, we tackled several miscellaneous tasks that I need to do. Repair my armor, repair my, um, repair my tools, 
clean up the front yard. We even have a cute little hedgehog running around now. I really need to work with getting my, my little maids back over here. My host daughters, my little maid host daughters happy with us again. All right, let's fill this up and then golden apples can go in here too. Where am I keeping all of my golden apples? Hmm, gifts of gratitude perhaps? No, loot of adventure? No? All right, well, we'll find them one day. So let's go down and see if our hedgehog is going to give us anything new. And then we might go gather up some herbs really quickly. Hello, darling. All right, and then anything new from the hedgehog? Well, first we have to find the hedgehog. There's Agent Noodles. See, this is kind of what- Oh, there's the hedgehog! Oh, he gave us a dandelion! So just like that, we get to put a little dandelion down on the ground. There's multiple types of dandelions, actually, in our absolutely amazing world, dandelions. As you can see, there's three different types. So he will give us these two, the dandelion puff and the normal dandelion, to kind of represent the two life cycles of the dandelions. So I'm pretty excited. I'm going to love this hedgehog. I think he's going to add so much to our yard just by existing. And I kind of like this bush. But I need to rearrange how I make my bushes because they're kind of, they're, they're not the best right now. They're not the best bushes. So we're going to play around with making better bushes and we're going to watch what our adorable new garden hedgehog does and what it adds into our life. And then actually, do these eggshells work on, on like pistachios? <gasps> eggshells work on pistachios! <gasps> and we got another dandelion! We got another dandelion from the hedgehog! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. I really am so happy right now. Um, I think what I want to get... What about what about these? Can I make pecans into... into No, I can't make pecans into... Um, can't make pecans into cooking oil. So we're going to have to definitely find an olive tree somewhere. So... Oh, this is so awesome. This is how I'm going to use all of my eggshells. I didn't know you could do this. <laughs> this is such a fast way to actually gather that. We just picked a bazillion pecans. I feel like I have just life hacked the pecan tree. I am... I'm... I'm pretty happy, actually. I'm, I'm pretty darn happy. All right, so if you guys have any ideas for what we should add in for the summer garden, let me know because we can definitely start working on that. Um, yeah, our hedgehog is absolutely adorable and cute, and we might have to add another garden hedgehog in in different parts of our, our little area and maybe even in different parts of the entire zoo. I think that would be fun. Tomorrow, I kind of want to go see if we can spend a little bit of time over at the safari zone just to kind of reassess what we need to do. But I also want to spend some time with Astro Seed sunflower because we need to pick out names for their babies and I sort of want to spend time like at the squirrel rehab center and maybe adventuring so basically there's going to be a lot to do in the zoo as usual and I am so happy to be back and I'm so happy to share all these adventures with you guys all right one more one more present for my hedgehog yes no <gasps> dandelion puff I'm so happy right now all right all right that should be a lot of fun all right guys I'll see you next time Bye bye